welcome to the second day of the 12 Days of Christmas Rustic DIY Log Cabin Holiday Tutorial. Um, today we're going to be doing three different types of gift wrapping. Um, it's basically nothing new and crazy that you haven't seen before, but we just want to kind of show you some different things that we're doing in our Lux Log Home Model because every room is different. We have a rustic room upstairs, we have a glam room down here, and then for our second living space we have a more modern, funky room. Um, it's gonna be pretty neat. So first off, we're gonna do the rustic room. And so basically here I just have an empty box. Sorry, there's no president in here. Empty box, and then we've got this just plain generic craft paper. Craft paper has such um, a variety of uses and is perfect for any kind of rustic um, gift wrapping you want to do. I also have some red and white kind of like burlapy twine yarn that we're going to do. And then also for this one, we're going to be going to the outside because it's rustic, it's nature, to add a little decor to the top. So here we go. First off, wrapping our box. So I'm not a pro with this. I've never claimed to be very good at wrapping, so just bear with me. But I will tell you a few things that I have found throughout the years, sorry work, I've stolen this, um, is actually having like a office tape dispenser. That way when you pull it, it doesn't slide everywhere. You got, it gives you a, a good base on, you know, to be able to pull your tape out and everything like that. Also, a great thing to have is a, oh, look at this, Vice President of Manufacturing, Doug Terrell. Welcome to the show, Doug. Are you here to help me wrap our gifts for our audience? Absolutely, that's oh. exactly why I was asking. All right, well, you know what we could probably do is we could probably get Doug to help me here in a little bit, go out and get some of the uh, the uh, the greenage that we're going to get from the outside here to add to the top of our box. Absolutely. All Would right. You like some tips? Yeah, are you good at wrapping? Well, I can critique the wrap. Vice President of Manufacturing, ladies and gentlemen, trust me, if you want anyone critiquing anything, it's him. Because, <laughs> so, uh... All right, well, stay tuned. We're gonna wrap this box and we'll be right back. All right, so, you know what? When you're, when you're wrapping, you know, it's all about the addition and the decoration and those little special touches. So for our rustic wear, why not take the outside and bring it in? We've got this beautiful tree here. Doug, I don't know exactly what tree kind of tree. Some, some sort of holly. Some sort of holly tree. Yeah. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a few snips of this so we can put it on the top of our package. Doug, do you want to do the honors? Do you want to pick out some good, uh, make sure you get one that's got a little, you know, longer piece of stick. Maybe like something, yeah, just. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. We might need a little more than this. Maybe pick. Huh? Maybe, maybe. What, is that too small? Look, we need. Oh, yeah, cut me off a little. Yeah. Okay. How's you that? know what? This actually will work great because the package that we're going to be wrapping is not that big. But you can do this with any kind of tree. If you've got pine trees, if you've got magnolia trees. Magnolia leaves look really great and they're really in this year. But um, actually, I'm going to get you to cut me one more. This is a. Uh, all right, so now that we brought our outside inside, we are going to finish decorating our rustic package. So we've got our red and white twine here, and basically what we're going to do is, you know what I'm actually going to do, Wesley? I'm just going to tie it in a bow, because here's how we're going to do it. So playing around with this twine, because it doesn't have any wires in it, sometimes it can be difficult. So what I'm just going to do is I utilize everything to try and keep it to stay in place. So if you have to tape it, don't worry about it. If you have to secure it in some other ways, don't worry about it. Because the great thing is, when it comes to Christmas and Christmas packages, the more literally the merrier. The more stuff you want to add on, the greater it is. So what we've got is we've got our berries here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of cluster them like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get a piece of tape and we are going to tape it around the berry cluster just so they'll hold together. Again, you know what? It's Christmas, no one's gonna care exactly how you did something or manipulated it. They're just gonna care about really what's inside and how awesome it is. So here we are, we're gonna just tape this down. This little guy, tape this down in our box like so. And then for an extra fun and sparkly effect, I've got Dollar General, they have the best deal on little ornaments. I've got all different kinds. And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this on the other side. It's all about tape. At the end of the day, it's going to stay strong in your travel and it's going to look super festive. Let's do a little more right over here. Tape it like this. Okay, so as you can see, 
We've got a very cute rustic package here, and um, we're gonna go put it up with our rustic Christmas tree. Um, Um, we actually did our tree for the first uh, day, 12 days of a Blue Ridge Log Cabin Rustic DIY Christmas. And, um, so we're actually going to wrap a present to go in there. So I've just got this really simple white with gold polka dot paper, and we're going to wrap this box here. Um, again, nothing really special about it, just um, going to get it wrapped. And again, I don't really ever measure. I, I appreciate people that do measure their paper and know exactly as far as what line to cut on. Um, but again, it's all the same, basically. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply wrap this and then come back and then we're gonna show you all the fun stuff we're gonna put on this guy. And we just say, it's got fur. So isn't that pretty? You know, it honestly would look just as good, just plain, to add just a very nice kind of a geometric look to your tree. But we're not just going for plain, we're going for glam. And whenever you're talking glam, it usually means fake fur somewhere. So I've never actually used this. Um, so we're, it's gonna be a first time experience for both of us. And since this stuff technically isn't cheap, it's $7.99 a roll. Um, it's not deep though, so that's not bad. But we're just gonna use it sparingly, so I'm not gonna be doing any big elaborate bows. I'm just gonna try and do a bow, maybe even if it could go like this. We're, we don't, we're just gonna play around and see what happens. All right, so we've got our pre-piece, and since this is so thick, what I think we're gonna do is we're just gonna knot it, but I think the knotting is gonna give a really cute kind of look. So um, just basically do it like you would do any simple knot turn the fur piece out to make sure you get fur on both sides, and then just kind of pull it. Oh, that's so cute. It almost looks like a little fur bunny, a little snow bunny. Okay, so we've kind of got this cute little furry situation going on over here, but we're gonna take this one step further. So do you remember how I said that our room was a teal? We got this fabulous peacock feather that we're gonna stick right under here. The great thing about these is it can literally stick anywhere and on anything. So, actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this. So, adds a little piece of color. Um, I think it looks really cute, and so let's go see how this looks in our flame room. this year um, Wesley Lawson the engineer for the Lux home actually made this and you know what honestly Wesley did such an amazing job and it took some work but anyone can do it just find a pattern or something you like print it off on 11 by 17 paper that would definitely wrap a box this size but we, Wesley actually printed us a whole roll out but as you can see it is a custom floor plan wrapping paper in black and white this is actually the Lux right here with the Blue Ridge logo and a Lux Log Homes logo I can't wait to have this addition it just adds a fun kind of graphic print to your uh, to your tree and it's something we want to kind of do especially because you know we're in the Lux and we just built this so um, basically just wrapping it like any other wrap um, you know, make sure that you know exactly how much you're going to need. Probably, I'm probably going to go overboard with this, but we'll just cut it here. I'm a big eyeballer when it comes to things like this. Um, my mom would kill me because my mom is the queen of wrapping and she's very precise. Um, but, you know, sometimes you just got to eyeball. And what's Sarah's motto? It's not what's on the inside that counts, again, which is nothing. Actually, no, it's what's, in this case, it's what's on the outside that counts. So we are just gonna do this. All right. All right, so as you can see, this turned out really, really cute. 
Again, it's just a pattern that we made on paper, of, and it's something that's really personal to us. So what we're going to do, just because the theme upstairs is white, black, and gold, we're just going to cut and eyeball some of this really thin gold ribbon, decorative ribbon. And basically, I'm going to put it around here. The good thing about this ribbon, again, from Dollar General, I love you Dollar General, I love you so much, is it's stretchy. So you can really manipulate it any way you want to. We're just going to be pretty basic with this bow because, and you know what we're going to do is we're going to pull it over to the side. For some reason, having a bow on the side makes it look so much more chic. And then what we have right here is a beautiful gold peacock just to add a fun little decorative element. So let's go and see how this looks under our modern tree. Some personal things um, that just to remember um, that I personally find very helpful. One, I weighted tape dispenser. It's great for wrapping gifts. Two, you know what? You're only going to wrap this once and people are just going to rip it open. So find yourself some wrapping paper that isn't super expensive that you can use, you know, for the majority of your gifts. Maybe you splurge on a few different rolls and then maybe you splurge on maybe one roll of some fun, funky, uh, you know, ribbon. Ribbon you can always reuse, wrapping paper you can't. Um, and just a few other things, you know what, even if it's plain, you can go to the Dollar General, add fun little adornments that really make it festive, so you don't have to spend a lot of money to do it. Uh, we hope you enjoyed our second day of a Blue Ridge Log Cabins Rustic DIY Holiday Christmas, and uh, thank you guys for joining us, and we'll be back for the third day of a, I'm not going to say it again, you know what it is, the third day of DIY Christmas. Thank you all so much. Happy Holidays.